is Juno Hill, Kids Church Online. I'm Lola. And I'm Jimmy. Today we're going to be talking about the birth of Jesus. But that will be after a time of worship. Continuing to talk about all the things that happened around when Jesus was born. Do you remember the last time we met? We spoke about how Mary knew she was going to have the baby. An angel 
named Gabriel was the one who came and told her that that is what was going to happen. And she was told that his name was to be Jesus. This week, we're going to look at what actually happened around the time or on the day that Jesus was born. This story comes from the book of Luke, chapter 2. Well, in those days, the ruler of Rome, who was the ruler of the then known world, decided that he wanted to know how many people were in the countries that he ruled. So he decided that people should travel to the place that they actually came from to get counted. This is called a census. And here in the United Kingdom, we have a census every 10 years. Now, it so happened that Joseph and Mary were living in Galilee, but they had to travel to Bethlehem to get counted. And that's exactly what happened. In those days, they didn't have cars or aeroplanes or trains. They had to travel either by camel, donkey, or walk. And it was a long journey. At this time, Mary was heavily pregnant. So, of course, she had to ride a donkey. They got to Bethlehem, but they couldn't find a place to stay because the inn was full. So, they were able to find a stable. That's where animals stay. And that's where Mary had baby Jesus. Baby Jesus was wrapped up in swaddling cloths and laid in a manger. And that's the end of the story. Hi guys, look, I have started to Christmassy up my studio. And do you remember that through Advent in Kids Online, we are making a progressive craft we're going to make this nativity scene and each week we're going to add new parts to it. So last week I showed you how to draw the angels and how to make these little people. And if you didn't see that, you might want to go back and watch it. And here's a sneak peek of some of the characters we're going to have coming up in the next couple of weeks. Look, here we've got a shepherd and I made him in exactly the same way, but I cut out a paper headscarf and glued that on. And I also cut out a little paper sheet. And because he's got pipe cleaner arms, he can hold his sheep. And then here we have a wise man, and I made his face a little bit different. I gave him a beard, and I've also given him a little pipe cleaner crown. So you can be making all your people, but today, because we were talking about Jesus actually being born, we're going to make our stable. And as I said last week, for this, you need uh, some cardboard from a cardboard box. And hopefully there'll be lots of this lying around at the moment, because hopefully lots of presents have been arriving in the post. So, you need to cut out four pieces for your stable. So, I'm going to tell you the dimensions of my one, but you can make yours uh, bigger if you wanted. If you, if you start to make it much smaller, it's going to get tricky. And it depends a bit on the size of your box. So, these pieces, which are for the side of the stable, these are 12 centimetres wide and 13 centimetres high. So, you need two 12 by 13s. Then this piece for the back of the stable is 26 centimetres wide and 13 centimetres high. So that's 26 by 13. And then this piece for the front of the stable, you can see it's got the same basic dimensions as the back. So I started by drawing 26 by 13. And then what I did was I measured 13 centimetres along to the middle and I measured up 7 centimetres to this point. And then I just drew lines to join up the, the point with these two edges to get this nice triangular roof shape. And then I measured in four centimetres at each side and cut out this big doorway. Once you've got your pieces cut out, the next thing to do is to add in decoration to the stable. So what I've used is I've just used a grey Sharpie and I've drawn in these beams. So you could do it with a ruler, it might look a bit neater. But basically I've got beams, they're about one centimetre wide. And what I've done is I've drawn in a beam along the here, one at each side of the roof, 
one up the middle, and then one at each side. So this is the kind of structure of the stable roof. And then to make it look like wood, I'm not colouring it in completely. I'm just putting lines down. So it's sort of got lots of thin lines to look like the grain of the wood. And you can decorate the front of your stable however you want it. If you want it to be really tricky, you could cut out these sections between the beams, uh, but that would be quite difficult. You might need a grown up to help you with that. Once you've got it decorated, now what we're going to do is cut slots to slot the whole thing together. So we'll start with this one and we're going to measure in two centimetres from the edge. So that's going to be right slap band in the middle of this side and this side. And then we're going to draw a line that's six and a half centimetres, so half the height. So whatever height yours is, you want to make this line half the height, six and a half centimetres. And we're going to cut those. And then on our sides, what's going to happen is this is going to slot in like this. So we're going to measure in two centimetres and we're going to cut six and a half centimetres down from the top. And we actually need to do it on both sides because one slot will be for slotting in the front of the stable and one slot will be slotting in the back of the stable. So I've got two centimetres in and then six and a half centimetres down. Now, you might be thinking, well, I don't quite understand what she's doing. I hope in a moment it will become clear. So I've had two centimetres in and six and a half centimetres down. And then we'll just do it on here as well. So we need two centimetres in at each side. And how many up? Well, it's half the height. And this is 13 centimetres high, so six and a half centimetres. If you've made your stable bigger, if your stable was 16 centimetres high, you would measure up eight centimetres. So it's just, you're cutting the slot half. So, now, now what we can do is we can take this slot in our stable and this slot in our side and we pull them down and you can see it's a little bit tricky there we go and we've slotted that in there and then we're going to do the same with the back piece here we go wiggle it about a bit and slot that down. There we are. And obviously, when I was making the real thing, I would then do exactly the same on this side. I would cut two slots, six and a half centimetres down here, and we'd slot that on. I'll leave that just now for the sake of time. Now, we want to do some decorating. So we've got our angel, who we drew last week, and I've cut him out. And we're going to slot him in just on this front bit here. So I'm just going to cut a little, oh actually I didn't do it on there, I did it in here. I'm just going to cut a little slot in here. I'm not going to cut it in the paper, that was a mistake. I'm going to cut it just in the cardboard so it's more stiff. And I'll slot the angel in. There we go. So there he is, ready to sing praises to the newborn Jesus. And then I've also cut out a gold star which we can stick on the very front. Now, because I've got lots of crafty materials, I have some gold cardboard, which is very handy for making a gold star, but you might not have any, so that would be okay. You could cut a piece of normal cardboard out and cover it in silver foil, or you could uh, just color it in gold. So that's on there. I'm just gonna show you how to draw that star. So here you can see is my paper or my card. It's gold on one side and white on the other. And to draw a star, what you do 
is you go down and up like a V, then you go through this side like a V, and then you join this side up like a V. Do you see that? So it's down, up, across, across, across. So it's quite easy to draw a star, and once you've drawn it, if it's not exactly right, you can always even it up a bit, but you can see that the one that I've got here, it's not exactly perfect, and I quite like that, because a star, it's shining out light. It doesn't look exactly perfect. So, here we have our stable, all ready for Mary and Joseph to come and baby Jesus to be born. But there's one thing missing, isn't there? And that is the manger. So the manger is the other thing that you're going to make out of this stiff card. So what you need to do is just cut out the front and it's this uh, trapezium shape. Once you've cut out one, draw around it so you can have another one that is exactly the same. And then use this side edge to measure, to cut out two rectangles. And this time we're going to glue it together. And to be honest, I'm not sure that this is going to work when I do it just now, because usually you need a little bit of time for this to dry. But you're going to glue one side on there, and then we'll glue the other side on, like, oops, that's not right, I have that upside down, like that. And then, <laughs> I'm saying this is a bit tricky doing it without waiting for it to dry, but you can see I would then glue that side on there, and we would end up with our manger. And so long as you take time for the glue to dry, the cardboard is thick enough that it will stick nicely just using some paper glue. There we are, it, it's just about worked. It's a bit fragile, that one. But that would be all ready to put into your stable for baby Jesus. So, I hope you enjoy making the stable. If you don't want to do it, do you know what? You could just get a shoebox and put it on its side and use that instead. And next week, I'm going to show you how to make some very important characters, the animals. And for these, you need some thinner cardboard, like a tissue box or a cereal box. So collect one of those, and I'll see you next week. Bye! It all, it all, it all. It's great to talk about things that happened around Jesus' birth. In this story, I heard things that happened years ago that still happens today. What's that? Counting people in the country. A census. Oh yes, that's right. It usually happens in some countries every 10 years. But unlike in those days, you stay wherever you are and get counted. Imagine living in Edinburgh and having to go all the way back to Australia, if that's where you originally came from, to get counted. At least you would have an airplane to go on to. In those days, you'd either travel by camel, by donkey, sometimes by a horse, and on foot. That's true. Bethlehem must have been very full if they couldn't find a place to stay. I know. It must have been hard. But the stable owner, was kind enough to let them stay in the stable the night they got there. That's right. And that's where Mary had baby Jesus. He had a manger for a bed after being wrapped up in swaddling cloths. Do you want to sing away in a manger? Nah. Well, that's it for this week. Till next time. Bye! bye.